Zora chat runs on Zora tears. Zora's just telling me. <laughs> wow, Link. Oh. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me join. Ooh. Okay. So I can, I can eel. Is that what I'm doing? Is am I eeling? I'm. So, okay. Let me, let me read what Derek has to say. Oh, Zorgia, tis good of you to come, but I'm afraid there's still no word from Kryal and Grahatia. Now, working as fast as they can to compile the findings of our investigation, I shouldn't doubt. But between the Phantom Realms, Aetheric Data, and the Monument's Epigraph, they have much and more to review. Now, while awaiting development, I had a mind to pay Snowgeam a visit in Omphalos. If you aren't otherwise occupied, you should come too. Oh, that he he walked very far before <laughs> before the <laughs> I didn't even see his walk away animation. Oh, I missed this place. Look, Derek says, Snowgeam has become something of a fixture here. So focused is she on her work, she often neglects taking sustenance. I pray her health doesn't suffer. Oh, if it isn't Zorji and Derek. But no Kryl or Raha, I see. Unfortunately, speaking of whom, would you not prefer to be with them in Charlian? Your research or two, after all. I find myself much more effective in the field. Being here gives me inspiration, you see, and of late, I've been mulling over the opening words of the epigraph. As beings who endure by the will of the star, we are susceptible to the influence of hopes and prayers. Thus do we commit our yokes herein, lest we stray from our purpose. The suggestion that faith has shaped the nature of the Twelve paints a truly intriguing picture. Ding, ding. If truth be told, I was also hoping that I might speak with the gods again. But they haven't graced us since the time we solved the mystery of the monument. They only do so on exceptional occasions, it seems. Be that as it may, I believe there might be another way to see them. When we journeyed with the gods, Azima told me that each of them wished to speak with you in private. You, Zordia! If you were to call them before their heavens, I have a feeling they will answer. So, won't you give it a try? And afterwards, let us know what they say. I, for one, see no harm in it. But if you are disinclined, then do not feel pressured. It is entirely your decision. I'm still wearing the the, the outfit that I wore from <laughs> from you for scene. Where should I start? Where should I start? Oh, no, I'm I'm doing this for as you know me. Let's talk to Snow Game for first. Did the gods appear? Not yet. Look at them thighs, yo! Ah, Zordia. Please am I that you should seek me out. I had wished to speak with you. Have you been dedicating yourself to crafting, I wonder? Um... Kind of? All of my crafters are level 20. In my capacity as the builder, I watch your progress upon this path with keenest interest. They are amazing. I mean, look at him in general. He's a specimen. The act of crafting embodies the spirit of improvement and advancement. Tis my hope that you will strive ever forward and seize that which you most desire with your own hands. So this dialogue was a bit different for you as a full 90 Omnicrafter. Ooh, wait, I want, I want that dialogue. Can I, re okay, I need to, I need to reset my game, start from level one. <laughs> Rude, I'm only level 20. I can new game plus it later, okay, I will. Ralgar looks dope, man. Well, well, if it isn't the Dauntless Zordia. Full glad am I that you would thus call to me. When you and yours investigated the origins of the Fist of Ralgar, you posited some interesting theories. The connection between myself and the Sylph's divinity in particular. You did well to draw that conclusion. Your inquiring minds have taken you far, child of man. 
and they will take you further still. Ah, Zordia, at last you've come. <laughs> it was right to entrust your zealous scholar companion with the message. Ever since our first meeting, I knew that I simply must see you again. There is something familiar about you. You awaken forgotten feelings in me. Oh? Feelings that once smoldered like embers amidst the ashes. Perhaps you resemble someone I knew long ago. And whatever the reason, your presence gives me comfort and warmth. May your light ever burn bright. Zordia, we bid you welcome. Know that though we appear to be two beings, a dual aspected divinity, it was not always so. Man's hopes harbor power, and twas his faith offered over millennia that shaped us into our present form. In answer to your faith, we, the traitors, shall watch over mankind as he strives for that which he desires. Nafika first. We get close up with her? Why, if it isn't Zordiash? You wish to speak, do you? She's so pretty! Tell me, have you ever met an elemental? Many hold that they were born of me. And as I mentioned, they are the voice of those who abide in the Twelves Wood. At times, they may seem excessive in their actions, but it is out of an abundance of love. So pray be good to them and heed their warnings. Oh, I just realized that there's that floaty thing holding up his cape. Zordia, is it? I must say, there's something to be said for being summoned by a mortal. The life of man is but a drop in the great river of time. Now, sir, so you and yours want to rush ahead, not wasting a single moment. Be that as it may, certain sights will only come into view if one stops to look. So be not afraid to pass the time in which, in ways which at first may not seem fruitful. Should you dare to do so, you may well be visited by an eye-opening experience. Such is the richness of time. Well now, if it isn't my dear Zordia, how good of you to call me. I'm sorry if I gave you a shock by joining my brother in battle, but I couldn't help myself. We've always done everything together, he and I. <laughs> ah, such a joy it was to face you and yours. You displayed the self-same determination that allowed you to defy fate. It was one surprise after another. How bold you are to summon me, Zordia. Tis no less than I expect of you. In recognition of your valor and deeds, I offer a word of counsel. Well do I know the power of men's hopes, of mortal faith, and there is no faith that I reject. Yet in every age, there are those who invoke the name of the divine for their own ends, being not misled by them. Oh, Zordia, what a delightful surprise! You wished to see me, did you? Your beautiful and malevolent patron? Yes. Yes, I did. I'm truly grateful that we can talk like this. As you know, I'm the goddess of love. Yet that obviously doesn't mean I have a monopoly on love. For instance, my brethren love mankind with all their hearts, just like me. And whether or not Oshan is my beloved as mortals believe, I have more than enough room in my heart for everyone. Be it men or gods, I love you all alike. And needless to say, I love my adorable Dalamud too whom you and yours gifted to me. Aww, we gave her doggo. Maybe Opo Opo says, Look, look! Spoken to your satisfaction, have you? Then let us await Krile and Grahatia together. Hmm, still no sign of them. Ah, there is something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes? As an adventurer, you are better traveled than most. Of the places you've seen, what kind do you like best? The Hian kind. <laughs> Bustling hubs brimming with activity, natural environs unspoiled by man. Faraway lands where new encounters await. Quiet places where I can jo enjoy solitude. Natural environs unspoiled by man. So you too enjoy being amidst nature. It gladdens me to know that we have that in common. I myself am partial to wandering Eorzea, so rich in aether, this land. 
and possessed of so many aspects. Twas when I was traveling through the Twelve's Wood that I encountered this fellow. I knew not how he came to be injured and alone, but I couldn't turn a blind eye. He has long since recovered, and I probably should have returned him to his forest home. But when I see him here, undaunted in the presence of gods, I can't help but feel twas fate that delivered him to me. Still, the day will come when we must go our separate ways. They're finally here, everyone! Monkey! We're gonna be separated from baby Opo Opo? Welcome back. How fared your work? It took longer than we anticipated, but we managed to compile our findings, and thence deliberated a course of action. Indeed. Here on, we are. We would do well to tread with caution. The waveforms we recorded with the etheric analyzer revealed an unsettling occurrence. Oh? In the course of fighting us, the gods expended a tremendous amount of their aether. So much so as to dilute their very essence. Oh, they're doing it on purpose? Are they trying to... stop? Lest you worry, you've done no wrong, Zordia. The gods themselves wish to fight, after all. That being said, we should avoid engaging in further battles until we learn more about their true objective. To that end, we will seek out the 13th unnamed being, whose duty is to watch unflinching. If Raha is correct, we have no reason to believe otherwise. Said being is the Watcher on the Moon. You'll be pleased to know that I've already acquired permission to use the Tower of Babel from the Ilsebard contingent, who oversee the structure with the Garlean people's leave. We're, re we're really going then? To the moon? Huzzah! <laughs> I wonder what the Watcher is like. If there are no other matters, then let us set forth at once. If you still wish to speak with the gods, best to seek them out now. They may not be there later. Why you say it like that? Why- And the music stop. Why you say it like that? That's sus. Greeting, Hydaelyn's champion. You are ever welcome here, as are your companions. Tis a pleasure to meet you, Watcher. We come hoping that you would answer some questions for us. Questions about Hydaelyn. We have deciphered the monument at the heart of the Phantom Realm. In addition to the names and duties of the Twelve, it speaks of one who is unnamed, who shall watch unflinching. Are we correct in assuming that that individual is you? The Twelve have existed for eras. If you know aught about them, will you not share your knowledge with us? They have a desire which they claim can only be fulfilled through battle with mankind. We wish to understand what that is. Please. So man has managed to come this far. Very well. You've earned the right to know. Remember, however, that I am but a creation. Though I have been imbued with some memories of the past, they are far from complete. Oh? Lore, give me the lore! Give me the lore! Give me the lore. First of all, I am indeed the unnamed being the monument describes. Score, we got one right. An entity created by Hydaelyn to serve a purpose alongside the Twelve. Together, they were charged with preserving equilibrium on a sundered and unstable star. Like myself, they were given shape from people who once existed. And like myself, they believed that the world should be entrusted to the new life that had emerged. While I do not possess detailed memories of that time, Vena selected those she deemed best suited to their respective duties. Aha! Aha! We knew this! We already knew this! And that would explain why the Twelve appear to have personalities like, the, like mortals. The men and women they once were influenced their personalities, yes. But so too did the faith of mortals. Knowingly or no, when men pray, they will the object of their worship to assume a form that can better grant them their heart's desire. In this manner have the Twelve been shaped over eons into images that fit men's ideals. So you were right, Raha. Hopes and prayers have the power to influence the gods. 
Yep, we were right. We were right. Yet even as they thus changed, at Vanaz's behest, they would have refrained from intervening in mortal affairs. As a result, there will have been times when they acted in ways that are contrary to your expectations. But now that Hydaelyn is no more, and the final days averted, the Twelve have arrived at a decision regarding their fate all their own. Tis not for me to reveal the truth of their desire. I can, however, guarantee that it will not visit harm upon mankind. Nay, far from it. Well, I for one never felt the gods meant us ill. To have your guarantee as well, we couldn't possibly doubt them any more. It is most assuring to confirm the connection between you and the Twelve. With this, we may proceed in our quest with easier hearts. Aww. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. We shall return to the Emphalos and continue engaging with your brethren. That is well. As I watch on, I shall pray that the tale comes to a happy conclusion for gods and men alike. Obo Obo is very excited. Why is he sad? Derek, Derek, you are the most sus. You and that Opa Opo. Are you going to say something? May your journey be fulfilling. Something is amiss. The gods' avatars are nowhere to be seen. And that's because our preparations are complete. Oh! I'm curious what they look like because I haven't I don't I haven't seen any spoilers thankfully <clears throat> other than the trailer which I guess is I don't remember ooh ooh she she hot though wait who this DiGiorno oh they hot though ah I've waited so bloody long for this moment Limelane. How do you how do you pronounce her name? How what's what whose goddess is this? And it, please tell me, please correct me. How how does one pronounce her name? Are oh, such uncouth words the first you would speak unto our guest? It's pronounced mommy. <laughs> oh, leave off, Thalic. You can't tell me you're not as excited as I am. I would be the first to admit my joy. But on such a momentous occasion, I would act with due propriety. Well met, children of man. It is our understanding that you have spoken with the Watcher and ascertained our true nature. Yes. Yes, we have. Indeed. We were created by Hydaelyn to tend the star. Them eyes, though! Also, is that a hair crown? Is that a... Is that a... Is that a crown made from his hair is is that what this is because i'm here for it this is very much kingdom hearts <laughs> having built the Amphalos at its heart at it, at its heart and our sanctums throughout a rich eosia we labored to preserve the balance of reality all of this we have learned but there is still one thing we do not understand our analysis of the fandom realm Reveal that you and yours dilute your very selves by fighting us. Would this not impede your ability to carry out your duties? He very princely looking. Also, the robes are giving me life. Here we go. Here we go. He's gonna- I knew it! I knew it! Derek is one of them! Which one's Derek? Derek- I, I know that there were theories. I just don't remember all of their names. We appreciate your concern, but you needn't worry. What's going on? I knew it! You were him all along! So, the baby Opa Opa was all along! I want to say the bottom one. Because <laughs> that was the other- wasn't this the other theory? I love that they put this in. I, I'm- I'm using it. I'm- I'm so using it. <laughs> Low though I am to disappoint, it isn't the little fellow. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yoshi P telling everyone, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's just I. 
It was me the whole time. Do we get to see your final form? Your true form? While my brethren used various creatures as their avatars, I chose the form of man. Of a man. The better to share in your solitude. Oh, and you were able to explore. Oh, 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 oh! And it fell to me. Show me. Show me the meaning of being in only. Oh, he got legs? <laughs> he got, of course he has legs. What the, what am I talking about? There's a lot of chest that I wasn't prepared. Ooh, them eyes though! <coughs> Excuse me, hello? <laughs> read, Zor, read. No wanderer to beckon unto the Amphalos, they who could grant our wish. Yo! They looking good. They, they didn't exp the pog faces. Wha what? How could you hide such a thing from us? Dude, do you see how massive? I like his armor. I like the fact that the armor is only on one side. <laughs> it is very, it's very archer-like, you know what I mean? More mobility, you know, to be able to, 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 to archer. <laughs> Had you known my true identity and our purpose, we feared that you would refuse to fight us. Sorry about your keyblade, Gecko, you got close. But our fears were unfounded. You've heeded our request and, despite the hardships, endeavored to grant it. Aw, he didn't want to... So basically, he didn't... He kind of doesn't want to leave and be separated from the Opo Opo. Forgive me, Zordia, but I must leave the little fellow in your care. In the innermost part of our realm, we shall reveal the truth in its entirety. I love the fact that Ashan is an archer. Cause like, bard main, okay, okay, bard main. <laughs> I await your coming with bated breath. Do you? Do you? This is our grandest moment, mortal. Gird your loins and have at us. Gird your loins, she says. I shall receive you with my all. Be as a raging torrent, child of man. Aw, bye Derek. Why did Oshan choose the name Derek, though? I mean, not that Derek's a bad name. Oh no, Opo! Oh, the Opo Opo is sad! Opo Opo's like, but mommy! Why do I feel sad already? <laughs> ook, ook! Oh! Oh, uh, Kryla's looking at. Uh, wait, wait. I don't have tears. I can, s I can sniff it back in. I don't blame Derek for hiding the truth. Tis no easy thing to say that you're actually a god. <laughs> Fair. In his wanderings, I can't help but wonder what Derek thought and felt. I'm fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. So Derek is the wanderer, the deity who shares in men's solitude. And in order to beckon us to the Phantom Realm, he posed as an explorer and solicited the aid of the sons of Saint Koinak. In spite of this, I do not feel as though I've been deceived, nor do I harbor any resentment. Rather, I simply feel sad. Yeah. I understand. Tis as if a dear friend were suddenly spirited far away. In hindsight, perhaps it was in expectation of the coming battle that he had kept men at arm's length. Someone give this baby Opo Opo a hug! I imagine it must be even harder for you. But to know that one of the twelve walked among us, it makes me want to do the best we can by them. I, since time immemorial, the twelve have watched over all who abide on the star. And even as they fulfilled their purpose of maintaining stability, as beings possessed of sentience, they also heeded the hearts of men. So let us likewise heed their des their hearts, and do our utmost to grant them their desire. <laughs> then I believe we all know what comes next. Time to beat things up. Let's go. 
By all indications, this will be your final foray into the gods' sanctum. This task we entrust to you and your adventurer friends once more, Zordia. As there is no telling what may happen afterwards, I shall remain on guard here. Twice now you have triumphed, and I have faith that you will do so yet again. Go well, Zordia. I will do my best, Graha! Oh, Thalia. Thal 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 Thalia? Thalil Thal Thalia. How do, you, how do you pronounce this? Though we we're assured that fulfilling the god's desire won't visit harm upon the star, I cannot help but worry th what may come to pass. We must be prepared. Worry not. I shall hold the fort here. Pray focus on the battles ahead. For the coming foray, you should face Thaliac in the heaven of water. And... Limelane and Oshon in the heaven of wind, while Nemea would also abide in the former. I believe she has already fulfilled her part, which means an easier time for you. Or so I hope. Okay, okay, focusing, focusing. I'm excited! <coughs> ooh, ooh, we in water already. I should have worn my swimsuit. There are fishies! Have music up. I'm, I'm hoping I, do I have music? Is the music up for you guys? I don't know. It's up for me. Yes, you are, Bunman. Wow! Dude! Can I live in this city? Wait, why is this reminding me of... Where the water coming from? <laughs> don't ask. Don't ask. Ooh. Yeah, this looks like 15, yeah. No, this looks like... Uh, what's that city in Final Fantasy VIII? It's their sewage system. Oh, we're just walking around in their sewage system. I see. <laughs> the, the tears of the last alliance that went through the raid. <laughs> oh, who's vo what voice actor is this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can go different ways. Wait, wait. I went, I want to. Dude, wait. This place is pretty. I want to see everything. We got the gondolas. We got all the... I probably shouldn't have to do this, but... Okay, Siri. I oh, just got to heal Siri. Got to heal Siri. Keep Siri alive. Keep Siri alive. Siri needs to be alive. We good. We good. We good. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Oh, oh, oh. I am getting... Ah! I am dying. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, what, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, <laughs> we're fine, everything's fine, everything's, everything is awesome, because everything is cool when you're part of a team, <laughs> Triton of Thelia, why do I feel like I'm pronouncing that name wrong? Thalium. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice place you have, Thaliac. Does anyone live here, though? Hey, this is your 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 person, isn't he? This is your person, right? Um, Link. Uh, cataractus? Oh, music though? Okay, probably be behind him. Um, or not. Be, is this, is this, are, is this water? Or, or is this, are we, are we gonna get pushed? Is that what this means? This, like a, this looks like a push mechanic. This looks like a push. It does. Nice, 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 nice. 
Oh, I love that we're actually on a stream. That's cool. You have returned. Thundaga! You were hoping to drop me I'm sorry! I wasn't sure! Ah, I'm gonna die! Wow! <laughs> Wait! I'm not paying attention! Guys, go follow the Thunder Bunnies if you haven't already! I'm gonna die! 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 Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I'm sorry, I didn't know. We still doing, we're still doing bikini gate. What, what, what is this? Um, um, um. This is, this is giving me um, Final Fantasy VIII vibes, or the not the Final Fantasy. Ah, ah, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> Not Final Fantasy VIII, the, 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 what do you call it, uh, the, what's her name from, what's, what's her face? <laughs> what's her name from, what's her face? Such, such, I can't, we're, oh my god, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> what is, what is, what is, what, what is, what, 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 okay, that's cool. There's, oh, it's, oh, it's geometry. Is that what this is? Is that what this is? <laughs> okay, so we go, we go stream, stream? Oh, this is true, he is scholar, you're right, you're right. Oh, wait, what? There was a particular side you were supposed to be on? We ran this in massive content creator collab. Freaking Todd kept murdering us. Oh gosh. <laughs> Llama, Llama Todd did? Oh, 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 what, 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 what? Okay, I'm gonna stay wherever the heck you guys are standing because I don't know what the... Uh, oh, wait, what? This is a... That was, that was that one mechanic from that other one thing, yeah? <laughs> uh, 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 what? Hello? We're moving this way, so it's it's this one, yeah? I don't know. <laughs> Literally us for two thirds of raid, Todd. Todd, <laughs> really? Oh no! But I'm sure that was fun. Ah, dead. We're fine. Everything is fine. Everything, everything is fine. We're fine. We're good. It's, it's okay. Everything is good. And no choice but to heal. Oof. Okay, so the green expands. Okay, green expand. Ah, no, I don't want to expand. I don't want it to expand. No. Ah, no, 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 Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No deaths, no deaths! I, and I keep wasting my cards, bro. Ah. Thanks, Cookie! <laughs> I was in the ru- I got in the way of a tank, Rouge! Rouge! <laughs> Bro, I don't know what I want. That one didn't count. Did it not count for any? Are you sure? 
He kept rescuing the tank at the last second of the tank buster and going, oh, hey, what's that tank doing? Bruh. Yo, wait. Oh, this is so pretty. Um. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. This is cool. Whoa, this is cool. This is so cool. Dude, this music is amazing. Oh, is this sand? Do we see our footprints in the sand? Oh, I'm not gonna... Um... Um, I'm, 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 I still got hit, bro. Wind rose? Okay, away. 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 Okay. Oh, Pyro put it on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna have to check it out. Ah! Oh, what the hell? Huh? Wait, what? Um. Okay, and then move? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, oh. Oh, is this, is this, is this is, this is giving me, there's a lot of like. Recognizable mechs, okay. Ah, stay in the circle. Stay in the circle. Oh, what the fudge? What the, 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 what the fudge? Why are you guys there? Why are you guys there? Why are you guys there? I'm gonna stay wherever the heck you guys are, but... What? Huh? Huh? Oh! 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 We... <laughs> what is this? No! Bubbles! Bubbles! No! Bubbles! Bubbles! No! Not bubbles! Bubbles! <laughs> Nani! <laughs> such a cool mechanic I can't I am so overwhelmed I'm whelmed I'm so I'm so whelmed right now I'm 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 what what the freaking heck is that okay I, I'm guessing we have to stand here and then move towards the one that was you know last right right I'm, that's what I'm assuming is what ah! no 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 <laughs> Stay away from me! Stay away from me! <laughs> meow! Meow! Uh, I, need to I need to throw cards, bro. Let me throw cards. Hey, Space Time Dragon! Hope you've been well! Ooh, wait! Is this all of Eden's mechanics? Cause this is what it is. Ah! Bro! <laughs> no, 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 I don't like you! I don't like you! Ah, the panic. Oh, Shishi Wakamaru. Oh, oh, Shishi Wakamaru, bro. I'm not breathing. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. Ah. Um, 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 um. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm on this side. I'm on this side. Staying over here. Staying over here. And then moving to over here. Cool, cool, cool. And then, and then, all right, all right, all right, moving over here. What the f- Oh, we dead. We, we, we dead. We, <laughs> oh, oh, we, de oh, oh, how did, ow, oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, well. Hey, Jada, welcome in to be in it. But, but you, you can survive this, I believe. That is a lot of, that is a lot of bowling. The bowling, bro, the bowling. The bo I'm just watching the bowling happen. You died there last time too. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. This is fun. This is a really fun one. These are really nice looking danger noodles though. Can I just say? Deep dive. No, but but. His voice kind of hot though. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh, this is my favorite one! Ato skoshi. No! This is. This looks cool! This looks like a mixture of. a lot of the Alliance raids put together, including like the Four Lords and stuff. So you got a root for him? Aw, oh, Ashan great. Oh! Oh, that voice, though. Oh, that voice, though. I am a, I am a fan of this voice. Was this sudden downpour? Oh! It's a bard move. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so we have to be on the sides. Okay. Oh, but his hit. Interesting. Reproduce? Excuse me. I'm I'm not ready for this. <laughs> we we need to go out to l what the fudge? Uh, what? Huh? Um. I'm just following where everyone else is going at this point because I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I like it. I like it, armor. It brings much joy. Oh, fudge nugget. And that's what I get. Um. Oh. What? Ow. Ow. See you later.
I'm like concentrating sudden downpour. That double sudden downpour though. Um, what? Oh, 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 we're in the air. Oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, he big boy. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Um. Um. Daddy's got the ropes. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> um. Oh. What? I don't understand. I'm like not paying any attention to any- oh god. Oh god. Oh, the strays! Oh, this is like the near raid! Oh, this is cute! I love- I love the combo! This is so cool. Um, what the fudge? Oh, 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 jeez. That is so cool, bro. That is so cool. Oh, dude, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't die. But I should've. I, I was almost standing in that one spot that I shouldn't have stood in. Where, where are you, Graha? Oh, what the fudge? Where is he? Graha! Wait, there's no music. What the? What's going on? Wait. I know Kryl and Snowhammer are down there. Where's Graha? <laughs> I don't see Graha! Angelos? Raha downstairs? Well. It seems we're being so. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, what is this? Are we fighting God? 
What? 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 What is- What? Hello? Our create- Okay. Wait, we had an up to go- Oh, boy! No! <laughs> you let me know! I got you! I got you! Oof. It's like this tiny portion right here. But, but no! Okay, I don't- I don't- I'm gonna have to depend on someone for that. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, jeez. Thank you for getting Bun Bun. I appreciate you. Sarah, that's what I was thinking. It looks like Vothri. Like a bunch of this has kind of looked like previous um, alliances. It's really cool. Oh, 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 cutscene, cut, cutscene? <gasps> All of them! Are they going to merge and become one being? Oh, there's even Dalamud! Okay. Aaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Excuse me, what? I'm so confuzzled. Oh wait, is that two moons? Do we need to be on the side? Do, do, is this is this Menfina? Is this a Menfina thing? Bro, bro, bro. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a one, that's a two, that's a three, that's a four, we have to, okay, I'm gonna be over here, okay, cool, cool, that's a mechanic I remember. Oh, great, oh, great, love this. Okay, we're starting from three? So it's three, then two, and then one, yeah? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh. No! No, such devastation! Such devastation was not my intention! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> well, thanks, <laughs> uh, No, I knew- I knew you could fall off because someone had already fallen off. Someone had already tested it. This is great. This is. Oh my god! 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 Gotta gotta look at <laughs> gotta, gotta look at Max, bro. Um. That looked like what the fudge? Oh, we doing this? Okay. Yellow first, yeah? Yellow and then blue? This one's pretty easy. Blue, the double blue stay in blue, stay in blue. And then yellow. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now what? Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, are we gonna get falls balls at some point? I'm expecting falls balls. Oh, wait, what? I couldn't see shiznit, bro! Go, Bun Bun, you got this. <laughs> Thanks, Cookie! <laughs> huh? Huh? What? I don't know what's happening. I don't know, I don't know what's ha- I don't, I don't know what's happening And I don't have a clue I don't understand what's going on I don't know what's going on Huh? Huh? What? What? is going on bro what is what what is what what i don't even know where to look bro every boss raid wide that is so freaking cool
We get we getting carried by the other healers for us. <laughs> but Bun Bun's doing great. How do you know what side to stand on? Okay, 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 I see, I see, I see. Amazing. This is super fun. Satisfaction. Aw. Let's go! Oh, but sad. This is a cool design. Oh, even Dalamud. <laughs> I got one. Dude, I got two ones! What? Let me make this extra campy by adding text. Last shot, Pyro! Stream will advance soon enough when instant timer expires. <laughs> Should I put it a little bit higher? Like maybe like right here. <laughs> Hi YouTube. <laughs> oh no. This is gonna be sad, isn't it? No. Zordia, are you all right? Thanks for clearing the way, Zordia. That being, I presume, is the Twelve? You have done well, children of man. As promised, we shall reveal the truth in its entirety. Dude, they look amazing! This is such a cool character model. Our desire is simply thus, to give ourselves unto the star as a blessing. Huh? In the twelve millennia we have existed, we have come to harbor tremendous power through prayers. Through battle, our essence shall unravel and return to the star, where it might give rise to new life. Aww. Such is our final gift to you. This is a little bit all over again, no. 
You mean you'll disappear? Yes. The fragments of our former souls, which serve as the core of our e existence, shall rejoin the life stream. Yet though we may fade from sight, our individuality lost, our stabilizing influence shall endure. The only thing to change is where your prayers find their way. Henceforth, it shall be this, the instrument of blessing that receives of mortal hopes, hopes that shall be given back to the star. But your presence brings comfort to mankind. Everyone would wish for you to remain. Must you truly fade away? Such gladdening things you say, child. We must confess. What we do, we also do for ourselves. Yeah, they'll be reunited with Vanna. <laughs> and all their friendos. When mankind overcame the final days, it so moved us that even we, who are but constructs, knew the greatest joy. <laughs> you have shown your unfaltering love for the world. In turn, we would show our undying love for you. I'm not tearing up. Worry not. Myths are wont to be woven and passed down. Look at Del Delamud has a mustache. Did you see that? Did you see that B B Doggo has a mustache? So long as men hold the twelve in fondness, we shall live on in your faith in us. What? When you say such things? <laughs> the moment of parting is come. By our blessing, may you march towards a brighter future. No, that's it. But the Opo Opo! Like daddy's gonna speak his first words. Farewell, beloved children. Opo Opo starts speaking. Oh no, are we gonna get a high five moment? When you are ready, brothers and sisters. This music isn't fair. This song isn't fair. Benfina! Uh, I'm not crying. May the font of your ingenuity ever flow. They're doing the walk! Yours is the strength to destroy all obstacles. Abide in virtue and hold fast to the truth. There is meaning in your deeds. Celebrate life and embrace death. May you flourish and reap a bountiful harvest. In your limited time, have boundless compassion. Carry yourself with honor and forge on towards victory. Harbor love in your heart, for yourself, for others, and for the world. I'm not breaking, I'm fine. From past to future, the river of knowledge flows. Be part of its nourishing waters. May a wonderful new world greet you beyond destiny's horizon. Be calm as the ocean, and you shall weather any storm. Say bye to the Opo Opo! As the wind blows unfettered, may you be free to follow your heart. Opo Opo! No! Don't do this to me! Opo Opo getting goodbye scene! No! Stop! Stop it! Stop it right now! You needn't agonize so, Oshan. Stop. Stop! Stop these tears! This is not... This is not okay! <laughs> Bro... <laughs> Remain with them. <laughs> I can't even change my voice, man. Remain with them if that be your desire. Aw. But this is what we've dreamed of. 
to return to the star together. He's staying! Do it for the Oppo Oppo! I just... I never imagined that I would grow so fond of them. That parting would be so hard. <laughs> it's more than just parting, man. Long as we have abided in patience to rejoin the life stream, for the drop in the river of time that is man's fleeting life. Why not share your fate with them? Oh, is he gonna become human human? Follow your heart as you ever have. And when the time comes, we shall meet again. Aww. Oh, he's gonna go back to the Opo Opo. Uh, oh, he's back. Is he human human? He's, he's like, hey, um, Uwu, I changed my mind, yo. Oh. Are we still gonna call you Derek? <laughs> uh -uh. I've decided to continue journeying a while longer. <laughs> oh, oh, do it! Da! Does he j does he become a scion? <laughs> Girl, same. <sighs> Happy feels. It cannot have been easy for Derek to break with his decision. I should like to hear what went through his mind. Ook, ook, ook! <laughs> the Opo Opo! You are the MVP, yo! He's back! He's really back! That I'm still here, I, I can scarce believe myself. Words cannot well express my surprise when I opened my eyes to see Derek standing there. I'm naturally curious as to what happened. But above all, I rejoice for a dear friend returned. I expect Derek has a few words to say. Let us lend him, lend him an ear. He gets the bond with people now. Is he actually... <sighs> what to say in such a moment? <laughs> Best to speak from the heart, I suppose. I'm glad to be back. Oh, <laughs> He's such a nerd. And we're glad to have you back. Glad hardly suffices to describe it. We're over the moon that you're still here, Derek. Or should I, should we call you Oshan? I no longer have Oshan's power. Derek will do. I was remade from the portion of my essence that wasn't returned to the star. I will live out my days as a man. Oh, you just normal. You a new, you're a, <laughs> you're a normie now. May I ask what happened? No sooner had the twelve vanished than you reappeared before us. Join the scions. Oh, there's there's no scions, never mind. At the very last, I couldn't bear it. Couldn't bear to say farewell. Your earnest friendship had weighed down my steps. Aww. And the little fellow's fervent call halted them. Aww, <laughs> the I was overwhelmed by the keenest longing to remain among you and see more of the world I love. Upon seeing me torn, my brethren bade me follow my heart. I needed no further urging. Monkey for the win! We created the instrument of blessing in the faith that, one day, the star would no longer need our guided hand. Or guiding hand. Thanks to you, that day has finally come. Ah, oh, but I ramble. How uncharacteristic. Let's head back to the Umphalos, shall we? Aww. Happiness. Happy feels. Band-aid. Let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we get to see him roaming around kind of like Alpha and Omega? Well, we must return to Charleon. The forum will be expecting a report. Yet if the entire truth were to be revealed to the public, it would shake the very foundation of the worship of the Twelve. Aye, in penning our report, we would do well to consult the forum on what details are safe to disclose. Much pertaining to the field of mythology will need to be ob obfuscated, I fear. Worry not on my account. Inspired by our findings, I have a mind to examine the Twelve in the context of reception theory. The people's perception of deities are wont to be informed by their culture. By comparing the differences across eras and regions, I believe we may uncover heretofore unseen aspects to the Twelve. Reception theory, you say? 
Most intriguing. I should like to see the fruits of your research when I visit Har Charlian. Oh, is he gonna go to the the moon and visit his buddy? When you do, have care not to reveal who you used to be. Our scholars would be all over you like starved beasts. Cryol's face looks so sinister, yo. I see. Perhaps I shall wait a while before I come calling. <laughs> Before I came to you, I simply roamed the world. I had no objective, nothing I wished to find. With this second chance I have, I mean to undertake my travels with renewed perspective. But ere I set out... Oh? I would move my brethren's hopes elsewhere, to a place in men's midst. Oh, where? Oh, what a wonderful idea. If you don't mind, we'd, we should like to accompany you. By all means, we make for the Sanctum of the Twelve, in the East Shroud. Of course it's the Shroud. Aww. As engrossed as we've been in our work, we've seldom had the chance to thus gather and relax. The last and only time would have been the meal in Revenant's Toll, I think. The words of the monument are promised by the gods to watch over mankind. Tis comforting to know that their promise will endure. The Sanctum of the Twelve, I couldn't imagine a more fitting place for their memories. Feel free to go on ahead, my friend. While this won't be my last time here, I need a moment before I leave. Oh, this is perfect. I was wondering when we were if we were ever going to come here. Or this. Ah, no matter how many times I visit the Sanctum, its majesty never fails to move me. And the rich history, originally built during the dawn of the Fifth Astral Era, it was reclaimed by the wood before being restored in the wake of the Calamity. Truly, it stands as a testament to the influence that magical civilizations and city-states have had upon Eorzean culture. The Sanctum harbors the hopes of men, and now those of my brethren shall join them. If you are not averse, I would speak a little of my brethren. That is, those individuals whose essence lent them form. As it pertains to another age, some concepts may be foreign to you. Would you be interested nonetheless? Yes, tell me all the lore. Please, yes, tell me. Excellent. Explain. Oh, the Opo Opo is happy! Oh. Well, is it going to be glowing from now on? This music. Biogod was a man with a gift for creating inanimate objects, such as buildings and furnishings. With his abilities, he served a supervis a supervisory role at the Bureau of the Architect, where he was nothing short of a pillar. Why am I getting emotional? This music is just making me emotional. The, the, the text doesn't count. Yo, his chief was carefree to a fault, and he took it upon himself to ensure that the work was done. Ralgor was a brawny man whom Vana encountered on her travels. They quickly struck up a friendship, and he joined her on a quest to destroy an enormous meteor that was hurtling towards the star. Tis fair to say, this event gave rise to the le legends surrounding the destroyer. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm getting chills. Oh, his chief was Hitlodeus? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Azima was a woman who served as a judicial. Ju blah, blah, blah. Azima was a woman who. I cannot read these emotions, bro. I can't. Azima was a woman who served as a judicial officer in the Bureau of the Administrator, an experience which served her well as the warden. Carefree to a fault does sound like a fair assessment. Facts. She was an ardent proponent of the seat of Azem, and dreamed of training under Vana and her successor. Aww! Nald Thal was a close personal friend of mine, a merchant by trade. He was outwardly gregarious, but also possessed 
but also possessed a reserved side and knew quiet joy in his passion for ore. When men began treating him as a dual-aspected god, it reminded me of the person he used to be, and I couldn't help but be struck with the pang of nostalgia. Nafika was a landscape. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is a landscape in... in <laughs> Nafika was a landscape architect of great repute who grew plants gathered from the star over. Despite being skilled in magic, she preferred to nurture plants as nature intended, and her garden never bloomed with beautiful flowers. All who visited were said to leave with their souls salved. Althic was a re researcher who observed newly made creations in Elpis. Oh, he worked- Althic was an- Elpis? Who in Elpis? Can we see him in Elpis? Although it was his sister's urging that he first joined our faction, he soon became a, stal a stalwart believer in the cause, and always took the initiative in discussion. Alone was a formidable warrior tasked with hunting creations that were deemed detrimental to the star. Oh. For her prowess, she had been regarded as a leading candidate for the seed of Pashtarot, preserver of discipline and order. Menfina was the youngest among us, a student affiliated with the words of La Habrea at the Academia Anider. Even within the prestigious institution, she was considered a prodigy, and hers were the hands that created the magic to isolate and seal Zodiac. Yo! Let's go. Menfina for the win. Thaliak was the headmaster of, of the Academia Anider. Oh? A man of learning and leadership both. He presided over the institution's myriad faculties. So both Thaliak and Menfina were there. No known phenomenon existed in which he wasn't versed. Words do not do justice to express the remarkable scholar that he was. Nemea was an observer in Elpis, like her older brother Alphic. She possessed a caring and inquisitive nature and was liked and trusted by her peers. Limlane was a researcher at Metabaseus. Thalassae, a facility for the observation and evaluation of sea life. So passionate was she about her work, she once threw a knife at someone who inadvertently came too close to her observation subject. <laughs> Oshon was a traveler whom Vanon encountered in the wilderness. They shared a campfire and discussed at length what it meant to be free. Aww. Leaving my hopes as the wanderer in this place, I shall set forth anew as simply a man named Derek. And last but not least, the Watcher. He was the chief archivist at Anamnesis Anider, and respected Vinod deeply as an individual even as he cared for her as a dear friend. Indeed, among our number, none was more devoted to Vinod, and that devotion made him best suited to his duty and the solitude that accompanies it. Yeah, you should visit him. And that is all. Tis a lot to remember, but I should be glad if they remain with you in some way. We're grateful that you should share with us these new aspects of Hydaelyn and the Twelve. Well, tis past time we headed back to Charlion. It wouldn't do to keep Orjika waiting. I assume you'll be traveling via Limsalominsa, which case allow us to see you off from there. Till now, I have wandered alone, but as I recently learned, a journey is better shared. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it doesn't stay glow glowing. Our friends are presently booking their pack package. Passage, bro. That's where you were. There's a room aboard the next ship, so we'll be sa setting sail shortly. Oh, Derek, no sooner do we arrive in a crowded place than you up and disappear. Ah, <laughs> uh, tis a force of habit in order to avoid people. <laughs> But I needn't do so anymore, do I? On the contrary, I should embrace the chance to connect with other souls. I really hope you don't run into any stupid people. Protect Derek and the baby Opo Opo at all costs. As your comrades, we completely agree. And remember, you're always welcome at the Baldessian Annex, so be sure to pay us a visit. You may depend on it. 
Thank you, Derek, for giving us your trust. And thank you as well, Zordia. Had you not been with, uh, with us, we would have struggled to grant the Twelve their wish. Well, we had best find our vessel while the report remains to be compiled. I believe we can officially declare our investigation complete. Till we next meet, my friends. These goodbyes. I got chills. Do you still have time, Zordia? Yes, I have all the time for you. Tell me more lore. Do you recognize me? Ere I embark on my journey, there is a place nearby I would like to visit. Might I ask you to accompany me? Oh, is it gonna be Oshans? Thank you. Come, we shall head outside the city via the Tempest Gate. Here the wind whips in from the sea like a storm, but I've always found the sensation quite invigorating. Unless you wonder, I intend to strike west, and thence make my way through Upper and Outer Lenosha. This music is perfect for this. And in order to mark my new beginning as a man, en route, I wish to see Oshon's embrace with you. You need only accompany me across the bridge. From there, I shall continue on my own. Ook, ook. Such a great wave that was that ripped the gods' grip from the mainland. In the wake of the calamity, my brother and I were, were all occupied with our respective duties. This is my first time seeing the bridge. Shall we then? Tis already quite impressive to behold. So it's temporarily constructed with wood. Ah, such an invigorating breeze. Oh, Atheris. Aw, your be beauty truly knows no bounds. Forgive me, I was lost in thought. I can imagine what this looked like on patch day, Lamau. Tis a fine bridge, boasting splendid views and brimming with life. The very image of man's determination to overcome adversity. I am honored that it should be named Oshon. Oak! Well, this is as far as I asked you to come. But if you're willing, might we converse a little more? It occurs to me I hadn't asked you about your opinion of the Twelve. How you personally perceive us, for instance, or what you felt when you faced us. Your words from the heart I would take with me as a memento. Is that so? The others will be glad to hear that. Thank you for humoring me, Zordia. And apologies for keeping you so long. Why, why are you apologizing? Don't apologize. I am ready to set forth now, to witness a world filled with our blessing. Aww. Are we gonna get Finn? Ooh, that is a nice... Damn it. That's a nice picture. To begin with, I shall tour Lenosha and visit those locales which are named after the Twelve, after which I shall go wherever the wind blows. Together with this fellow, of course, until such time as he tires of my company. Aww, <laughs> the Ofo Ofo! This time I shall embrace the joy of meeting and accept the sorrow of parting. And when the time comes for me to return to the star, I shall share my experiences with my brethren. Needless to say, your words will feature prominently in my recounting. <laughs> Do we get Opo Opo on arm? Do we have that emote on arm? You will continue your own journeys, will you not? Then I shall look for you out there. Fare you well, my friend, and may the Twelve bless you and keep you. No, oh, no, Bobo! Has anyone encountered him yet? Like, are we just gonna see- is he just gonna show up sort of like Alpha and Omega in random places? Oh! Everyone wants the Opo Opo! I'm glad I have him, I think. I'm pretty sure I have Opo Opo.
Myths of the realm. <sighs> I'm not crying, you're crying. At some point, I think during the cha uh, quest change, she says exact the exact same thing Nemea does in Myth. Oh, really? Okay, so this is Nemea. But I don't know where Althic, okay, Althic is. That's cool. Okay, so where are possible locations for Le Brother? So I won't be able to see, uh, because I I think I've completed that quest, yeah? Just have to do it on an alt. My alt is only in um, ARR, no big deal. Tomorrow